air the earth we live on is surrounded by a layer of air the earth's gravity prevents the blanket of air from moving out into the space the atmosphere protects the earth from the intense light and heat of the sun it prevents the earth from becoming too hot or too cold plant human and animal life would not be possible without air our earth is surrounded by a layer of air called the atmosphere the atmosphere is divided into various layers troposphere stratosphere ionosphere and exosphere troposphere it is the lowermost layer of the atmosphere this layer is closest to the earth's surface the air that we breathe in is present in this layer all the weather changes take place here as we go higher up into this layer the air gradually becomes thinner stratosphere it is the second layer and extends beyond the troposphere the ozone layer which absorbs the ultraviolet rays is present in this layer jet planes usually fly through this layer mesosphere it is the third layer of the atmosphere meteors usually burn up while entering this layer this is called cold layer as temperature rises up in this layer thermosphere it is the fourth layer temperature is too much high in this layer and may even reach above 200 degrees celsius space shuttles orbit in this layer exosphere it is the outermost layer of atmosphere the air is very thin here there is no air beyond this layer composition of air air is a mixture of many gases it consists of about 78% nitrogen 21% oxygen 0.9% argon 0.03% carbon dioxide and the remaining 0.07% is a mixture of hydrogen water vapor ozone neon helium krypton xenon and radon dust and smoke we breathe oxygen to stay alive plants use carbon dioxide to prepare their food oxygen nitrogen argon neon krypton and xenon are used in making many industrial products nitrogen is used for making fertilizers argon is used in bulbs neon is used for lighting and in television tubes characteristics of air air occupies space balloon has air in it we say air occupies space similarly footballs in tires are filled with air an empty glass has air filled in it here is an activity showing that air has weight hang a scale from its center by a piece of string so that it balances properly take two balloons of same size blow up one of them tie the balloons to either end of the stick what do you observe which balloon is heavier the air filled balloon is heavier so we say air has weight here is an activity showing that air exerts pressure take an umbrella and unfurl it move the umbrella upwards and downwards what do you feel you can feel the pressure of air on the umbrella in both directions when you move the umbrella upwards the air exerts pressure on the umbrella in the downward direction when you move the umbrella downwards the air exerts pressure on the umbrella in the upward direction here is an activity showing that air supports burning ask an adult to light a candle and cover it with a glass what happens the candle will go out after a few seconds oxygen in the air supports burning once the oxygen in the glass is used up the candle goes out the atmosphere helps us in many ways it helps in maintaining the right temperature on earth it stops the earth from becoming too hot during the day and too cold during the night the air also circulates the heat all over the earth the atmosphere also protects us from meteors meteors are small rocks that move around in space most of them burn before reaching the earth's surface air pollution addition of harmful substances to the air results in air pollution most air pollution comes from burning fuels such as natural gas 
coal, petrol and kerosene. Industrial processes in vehicles throw out smoke, which contain many harmful gases. Air pollution causes breathing problems. It also harms plants and animals. Air pollution causes a rise in temperature, which leads to global warming.